Chinese scroll painting is, is an ancient art form unique to Asia. The scrolls are made of silk or paper and attached to wooden rollers. They were unrolled and enjoyed during special occasions. Today, we're going to create a scroll painting of a landscape, which is a picture or painting of outside. We will add special details in our, paint, in our painting and complete it with watercolors. All right, let's get ready to do our landscape scroll painting. We have our paper vertically. We are gonna think of some landscape ideas that we can incorporate into our scroll painting. I'm thinking maybe a mountain ridge back here, perhaps a volcano, maybe a, a water running down here. I could think about having bamboo or bushes, maybe a little panda. Uh, I'm gonna start with my horizon line first. I'm gonna keep my horizon line, here's the halfway point near the top and very lightly draw it across the page. I don't draw it exactly straight. I'm gonna do it a little bit darker so you can see, but you do it lightly. I think I'm gonna include a few mountains. And my mountains are not perfectly straight like that. So I'm gonna make a little bit more realistic and I'm gonna have that one go right off the edge. I'm going to leave a little bit at the top so I can put some decorative paper to complete my scroll. Maybe I wanna add a few clouds. And now I'm gonna work with the ground. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna have a water come in. And when I do this, it's coming to a point. So I started right where my line was and then I'm gonna work my way down, getting wider as I go to the bottom of the page. Now I'll start thinking of things that I can include in my um, ground. Is it a piece of bamboo? If it's bamboo, bamboo has little sections, a little wider and then thinner. So I go up, out, then it has shoots come off with pointed leaves. That one's going to go off the page. Maybe I'll have two. If I continue this all the way up off the page, that's looking like too much, huh? Maybe I want to put some ripples in the water to show movement. I could even have a few little rocks on this side. I could do another tree. Maybe this is like a little weeping cherry. I'm thinking I have some extra space up here that I could incorporate a few things I into. I could think about incorporating a little house in the background, but my goal is definitely to keep it simple. All right, we're gonna go ahead and paint these. So think about what time of day you want. Mine's the middle of the day. We're using watercolors. Make sure you get your brush wet. I'm gonna go right around these clouds. You have a variety of brushes. Small brush, small areas, big brush, big areas. Are you having a warm sunset? Think about value, having some areas darker, some areas lighter. When you're changing colors, clean your brush. The more you swirl in your watercolors, the darker it will be. You wanna put a little texture. You can do a little wet on wet. So my brush is wet, I'm 
putting a little bit of black in my mountain that gives it some uh, texture. This one is behind this mountain, so I'm going to create a little bit of a shadow. Anything that goes in the distance gets smaller. And I'm going to paint right over this tree. It's not real big. And I'll let it dry and then I'll paint on top of it. Add a little bit of other greens in there. For my bamboo, I'm going to get my smaller brush out and make this dark. You can pick up some brown in there. I'm just doing the one side. Go ahead and glue a little decorative border. You're going to choose two of the same. Just put a little glue line. I don't want to cover up too much of my landscape, so I'm going to let that hang over the edge a little bit like that. Try to get it straight. Do the lower one. 